Young or old, saint or sinner, fate comes for us all. Tara reveals the truth. The major arcade. <laughs> you take this more seriously? I'm trying to create atmosphere. Oh, so am I, Joe. Boom! <laughs> All right, time to seal your fates. Turn over your cards. Now close your eyes, open your minds, and let the spirits of this place inside. Hey guys, welcome to the makeup tutorial for The Hanged Man. This is Josh. He was nice enough to sit for me to be the hanged man. He actually is a YouTuber as well, so I'll leave his YouTube channel down below and you should definitely go check him out. So first what I'm going to do is cover Josh's brows with the glue stick and powder. Next I'm going to paint Josh's whole face with the white cream paint and his neck and his ears. And of course with all cream paint you do want to make sure you set it. So I'm getting a translucent powder and powdering his whole face. Now to break up the white a little bit I am getting the red from my alcohol activated palette. And with a stipple special effects sponge I'm going to stipple that all over his face. This is definitely the easiest special effects character out of my whole series. Now with a black eyeshadow I'm contouring his cheekbones, his jawline, his temples. And of course, just to make his eyes a little bit creepier, I'm also going to paint them with a the black cream paint as well. I also did a little bit of shading under Josh's eyes just for those bags as I really wanted this to be an overdramatic type of character. And now for the teeth because of course zombie characters don't have nice teeth. So I'm going to get some tooth paints which are by Cryolon. And what you do is you make sure the actor or actress has dried their teeth with a tissue and then it, you paint it on, wait till it dries and then it's safe to close your mouth. You only need to brush your teeth with some toothpaste to get this off as well so it's really cool. To break up that white a little bit more I'm actually getting a dark grey colour and stippling that all over the face. Now with all characters that are dead it's best to cover the lips because the lips give away whether someone is alive or not. So I'm going to get a black cream paint and paint them. Now I wanted the hangman to have a huge gash across his neck because of course I wanted it to look like the rope had cut in there. So with some third degree I'm going to actually mould the wound out of that. 
Third degree is a silicone based product. So what you do, you have part A and part B. You don't actually mix these until you are ready to use them. You wanna get equal parts of both and that way you can mold pretty much anything onto the skin. Now, because we are filming all night, I do want this to stay onto the neck, so I do put a layer of prosate adhesive down first. Once that is fully dry, I'm then going to go in with a red cream paint and color the inside. As you can see in the shorts, I did apply fake blood, but I waited until we were on set to do that. And there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode. Make sure you stay on my channel to check out the second episode.